Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some extreme cleaning motivation for you. I'm going to be organizing, cleaning, decluttering, just kind of going through everything um, in all of the three bedrooms upstairs as well as two of our bathrooms. Yesterday when I recorded this, it was absolutely gorgeous outside, so of course I had to start with opening up the windows. There's nothing like getting some fresh air into your home. That is one of my favorite things about spring, is just being able to have the windows open and hear the birds chirping and just have that nice fresh air. And also, I'm going to try to find this comforter um, and link it in the description box below. I absolutely love it. I found it on clearance at Target. So I'll look that up for you and I will post it in the description box below if I can. You also see my silk pillow there. I'm loving that silk pillow case. I found that at TJ Maxx for like $8 and it's so comfy and it's supposed to be really good for your skin and for your hair. Next, I'm kind of just tidying up and putting things where they're supposed to go. All of these items on my nightstand belong in my office and this happens quite a bit where I find some things in my room that are supposed to be in the office. Before I start wiping everything down, I'm just going to start my Robo Rock. This is my new little robot vacuum and I'm obsessed with it because it gets so much out of your rugs and just your rooms. Um, I usually vacuum with my Dyson, but since I've gotten this, I've been emptying the tray out ahead of each room just so I can see exactly how much it gets from each room and I'm going to show you what it gets from each room just so you can see how satisfying it is. So while the Robo Rock does its job for me, I'm going to go ahead and finish tidying up and just wipe everything down with my Method Grapefruit All Purpose Spray. Next, I'm just going to Windex this little mirror stand I have here, as well as my big circular mirror. Now I'm just going to Windex this big mirror as well as my husband's closet door mirrors just because the kids put lots of little fingerprints on them so they need to be cleaned.
Next, I'm just getting some bins out and I'm going to declutter my closet as well as my drawers. I do this really frequently, so I actually didn't have too much out of my closet. Um, and I did get rid of actually a lot of pajamas and I know that my pregnant sister will really appreciate receiving them. Next, I'm moving on to my drawers, and as you saw in my closet, and you know if you've been following me for a while now, that I really want to redo my closet, and I have like a really old wooden desk in there, and actually my mom is going to be taking that desk sometime soon, um, and I'm just going to paint that whole closet white, and maybe put some different shelves in, but get rid of the desk completely, and not have any kind of vanity in there, because there's no good lighting in there anyway, so it's pretty much just taking up unnecessary space. I really need to declutter when I'm in the mood to declutter, especially when it comes to my pajamas because whenever I go to a store, yes, I think all of the clothes are beautiful, but I really want to find pajamas and sweatpants and hoodies. That's like the thing that I buy the most, which I really shouldn't, but I just love being cozy and having cozy clothes. Now remember this bin was completely empty, it's really gross, it's full to the max and I vacuum in here frequently, but it really gets under everything. I'm very impressed with my Robo Rock. Now we're moving on to my master bathroom. It's a really small bathroom and it gets really cluttered up very easily, so I'm just going to take everything out and just reorganize it and get rid of anything that I'm not using. Now I'm just wiping down the sink again with that Method Grapefruit multi-purpose spray. You know, I love how this smells. We just recently cleaned the bathroom, so this is just like a quick daily wipe down. Next, we're moving into the boys' bedroom. I have a three-year-old and a two-year-old little boy, as well as a almost eight-month-old baby girl. So I'm just decluttering their clothes because, like I said, the weather is getting nicer and they really just need to have a declutter of their clothes, items that they're no longer wearing, things that they're growing out of. And now my baby girl, Ella, has joined us, and you'll see her dancing in the background. Um, I'm singing If You're Happy and You Know It, and that is her jam, so enjoy her little dancing in the background while I'm cleaning. Now we're moving on to their closet and just decluttering over here. Okay. 
Now I'm starting the robo rock. Again, it's completely empty, so we'll see what it gets out of the kids' bedroom. And next, I'm just wiping down this mirror with the Method Glass Cleaner. And now using the grapefruit spray on this little table. I absolutely love this little IKEA table. I think it was under $20. Moving on to the kids' beds, they were playing with a bunch of stuffed animals earlier today, so I just want to get it nice and ready for their nap time. You guys know I absolutely love vacuum lines, so I found this carpet to be very satisfying from the Robo Rock. And this is all that it picked up. You can see there's even like a little dinosaur in there. And I'm just looking at my husband and the boys playing out front while I'm in here cleaning. <laughs> Moving on to little Miss Ella's room. I'm just going ahead and picking everything up and putting it where it belongs to start off. Believe me. Next, I'm just going to go through and declutter her little blankets. She has a ton of blankets, and my sister is also having a little girl, so I wanted to pick out a few to give to her as well because we couldn't even fit anything else in this basket. Next, I'm just refilling her diapers over here, and then I'm going to go ahead and change her sheet as well. I always struggle so much with crib sheets and sometimes I wonder if it's because I'm 5'2 or if I'm just not good at it. I had just recently decluttered Ella's drawers, so I just wanted to show you that over here. I just have all of her little pants like that, just a couple of onesies, and then a bunch of pajamas. Next, we're just going into the kids' bathroom. You can see it's a mess here, and I do do my hair in their bathroom because I don't have any space in my bathroom or like in my closet or anything like that, so that is why you'll see all my hair products in here, but I'm starting with just putting their bath toys away. They usually do this, but it was a late night last night, and they just got dressed and went to bed afterwards. Now I'm just going to declutter and organize under the sink. This is one of the areas that I have to do quite often because I'm always in a rush to get ready and I kind of just throw everything back under here. 
I'm also cleaning out all of my hair brushes because the postpartum hair loss is real and I'm just shedding everywhere and I just really hate when the hair is just like stuck in my brushes. So that's what you'll see me doing as well. And then I'm going to wrap up all of my curling irons and blow dryers and flat irons and just put them where they're supposed to be. Little Carter just came in and gave me a kiss and now Tanner did and he also wanted to show you his cow. <laughs> This looks much better under here, so I'm just going to end with wiping the sink down. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And let me know what cleaning video you'd like to see next.